Hi guys, I recently had a question from someone that wanted to know, what does excessive carbs mean, okay? Now we talked about how carbs convert to fat, but this person wanted to know, well, what's excessive? Because there's a debate going on that basically says you can get away with more carbs and it's really vague, so I'm gonna talk about it. So you need to know that most people out there that are too fat basically got that way from too many carbs. Okay, because carbs convert into fat. So the question is, what is excessive carbs? Well, we have to ask another question. We have to find out what is normal blood sugar. Okay, because that will tell us, because sugar is a carbohydrate, what would the body need as far as uh, a normal amount. So normal blood sugars are between 80 to 90, up to 100 basically, but just use, let's talk about 80 to 90, okay? So if your blood sugars are between 80 and 90, that's normal. 80 and 90 milligrams per deciliter. But that doesn't mean anything to people. When I say 80 to 90, they go, whoosh, you know, okay, whatever. So this actually, if you interpret this, what this means is you have one teaspoon of sugar in the entire body. Okay, that's what's normal. So what does excess mean? Anything more than one teaspoon of sugar. It's obvious, okay? Of course, the experts say it's complex, that we can't understand it, that it's really your weight that's causing diabetes and your lack of exercise. But think about it, diabetes is a disease of excess sugar. It's high sugar, okay, too much. So I don't know what I'm missing here. It's kind of like if you're, if you're hot and you're sweating and someone wanna know why you're hot and sweating and you're sitting in the bathtub in hot water, uh, it's the hot water, right? It's, it's bathing around your body. It's that simple, but um, I just don't understand it. The average person consumes 27 teaspoons to 31 teaspoons of sugar every single day. What's excessive? Anything more than one. So we have 26 to 30 teaspoons more than you need, okay? The American Diabetes Association recommends that 60% of your diet should be in the form of carbohydrates. So this is why we have the problem with diabetes because the people that are putting out this false information um, are so-called authorities and people are following it and they're getting a problem. So anyway, um, if you have diabetes, just lower the sugar way down and prove it to yourself. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.